When I walk around an estuary, it's magical because it's just flourishing with life. It's such a holistic view of the world that uh, you're doing something you believe in. Well, I come here and it fuels my soul. Well, this initiative started with geography. So we got about 16,000 kilometers of coastline, less than 2% are estuaries, and they're the gems. They're the really productive places. It's a kind of area where you have to kind of stay there for like more than an instant to appreciate it. But you go out there and you stay and you, you have some quiet time and you look around and you'll notice how complex it is, how they have such a disproportionately high number of species using them. I guess I was inspired by love. I was inspired by the, the love of the work. And I was inspired by the people too. I was inspired by the camaraderie of these people who uh, shared this singleness of purpose to uh, make things better. Kind of sounds like them, doesn't it? Yeah, they're trumpeter swans! Yay! My title is Conservation Program Specialist, and I do a pretty big variety of things all related to conservation in freshwater wetlands and estuaries. One of the biggest things that I do for, you know, kind of the bulk of my time is I help organize and coordinate uh, restoration programs. So that's when we go into degraded sites and do some work to repair them and return them to a more natural type of state. We are piloting a program right now called Marsh Keepers, which the idea is you recruit volunteers to go look at the ducks' projects and properties that are near them. So if we have volunteers that live nearby and like to take a little bit of ownership, and uh, which Peter is a really good example of, and go out to the sites and tell us how they're doing, that really helps us. It's a way for us to see or have someone tell us that they saw birds using our properties. Well, the, the Cowichan is an amazing place for partnerships. This uh, whole community is a real stewardship community. When we began, things seemed a little bit bleak because the budget was so constrained. So we reached out to partners, and one very willing partner was Ducks Unlimited. So, so typically, you know, we'll all get together and, and use collective funds to secure, as we say, or place a conservation agreement, which is just saying that only certain activities can happen in this area, and the focus needs to be on wildlife. Estuaries are a scarce resource, and what do we do with scarce resources? You know, I guess we value them. And then the issue is managing them and enhancing them and investing. If you're gonna have conservation, you need to have people caring about conservation, right? So it's great working with students. You know, we get them to do a bit of field work, so they get to learn at our sites. They get to ask me questions about what we do and why we do it, and I get to hear their ideas, which is huge. Starting with people when they're young and getting them excited and passionate about conservation is, you know, that's the best way to ensure that that's gonna keep happening in the future. Certainly very, very heartwarming to see, you know, especially young kids get excited about seeing ducks or, or fish or birds. You know, 
everything's connected. We all live here together. We need to make things work together. We want people to have a positive experience of these areas and understand that when wetlands function and they're full of fish and birds and frogs, they're actually great areas and they protect us against, you know, flood mitigation, wildlife habitat. They're just fantastic spaces. So it's, it's important to educate people.